Hello and welcome to this basic guide for how Maru. This is some of the stuff I use to play the character for the first time. And uh, I've gotten, I was able to beat the arcade mode on regular difficulty with these techniques, these basic techniques. So my favorite poking tool was standing medium attack. Although if it gets blocked, you will have recoil, but not too much recoil, as opposed to getting a heavy attack block. So it's a, if you use it sparingly, the standing medium attack, you shouldn't be getting uh, punished a whole lot for it, even if it gets blocked. If you're at a certain range, it should be okay, even if it gets blocked. Now, when you run forward and you press the medium attack, it's a, it has a short, a sort of a short distance, so you have to kind of get really close to an opponent to actually land it. But still landing it, it'll put you at like mid to close range almost. If it gets blocked, I would block right after it. Um, but if it gets hit, you can follow up with another... You can follow up with another regular medium attack, right? The crouching light kick. You press it consecutively up close three times you know, to create some safe pressure. Uh, it doesn't work as like any sort of combo or anything, but it's a good, you know, safe pressure tool. Not committal. There's also the, stand the regular standing kick button up close. You can hit it once. Then follow up with a standing light uh, punt, light attack. After that, he'll still be in the range to do it. If it gets blocked, you can you can block after it to not put yourself in a disadvantageous position. But if it gets but if it hits, you can follow up with that light punch without um, with less chances of being interrupted. The running light kick. Gets you a knockdown, you can come in from very far away and get a knockdown from very far away. Really risky if it gets blocked. So I would use it sparingly. I mean, if they're walking forward, you catch them off guard with that running light kick. The heavy slash. I would only ever use the heavy slash to punish something that... Uh, it's so obviously punishable from its uh, either max range or close range. Um, because if it gets blocked, you will be at a disadvantage. Especially up close. So I would only ever use it to punish things. The running heavy slash. Also a good, uh, a good way to get in. However, since it is a heavy button, and if it gets blocked up close, you will be in trouble. Uh, there are some... Some special moves that other characters have that when they whiff, it's it's uh it's easier to get the punish while running forward and doing the heavy slash. So I would use that for those situations as well. Special moves. Uh, I would only ever use the 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 sure you can punch move right here, the light version as an anti-air. But the better option would be down heavy slash. Uh, I feel it leaves you less vulnerable than than whipping a um, special move as an anti air, and it has a good uh, hit range anyway. If you're trying to catch someone jumping in, down heavy slash is a is a great option. Or you can just do a special move if you if you'd like. Um, Standing from a far away distance. If you're trying to zone here, the four circle forward circle uh, heavy slash attack. This projectile will reach the entire way. The lighter version, the light version will not reach full screen. Neither will the medium version. So if you're far away, the best bet is to do the heavy version there. And if you're closer, you can do the light version or the medium version. Uh, however, uh, I would pick and choose when to, very carefully when to throw a projectile in this game. If you get jumped in on, you might take damage. 
especially from a computer. I don't use the backwards so you can attack all too often, but it does carry him forward. You can use it to surprise opponents, not expecting it. But I would use it very sparingly, given that it's probably uh, unsafe on block. Uh, each, each strength carries you a set distance forward. The heaviest taking you the farthest forward. The core circle back kick. Gets you a knockdown if it lands. Uh, I typically use this as a as a follow to like a like a punish in a combo like standing medium attack and then quarter circle back kick for a quick and easy knockdown. I don't generally use it outside of outside of that. You can get some great damage from jumping in and attacking with a combo on your opponent, but it's hard to do. Because uh, doing uh, combos from a jumping in attack, it's uh, the timing is really strict. So you can use um, you can delay when you press the heavy slash after you start falling from the jump uh, to give you a better sense of of timing. But you're gonna want to aim for uh, trying to get a visual cue here. See the distance between Hamaru's foot on the floor. You want that distance every time you get in a jump in attack. Either be it a neutral jump or a jumping in from far away. And uh, you can follow up with a standing medium attack and you will get the two hit combo if you visually look for this distance between his foot and the floor. This will generally give you that that timing consistently to land the two hit heavy slash and then medium slash. <laughs> You can cancel the medium slash into either the core circle back kick, or if or you can go for a huge damage and do the heavy so you can uh, input heavy slash attack. However, also I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it's it's uh, best to cancel in um, special moves from attacks. On the medium attack. If you know for a fact you're gonna get the punish. Because if not, you'll probably be at a very disadvantageous position and get punished hard. Also, the neutral jump, say you get a knockdown. Uh, I like to run forward on an opponent's wake up after I see them on the ground and then jump up and then come down with the heavy slash followed by the medium slash and then cancel into a special attack if it all hits, right? Also the neutral jumps being a jump in attack, very hard to land the two hit combo, heavy slash, medium slash. If you aim for the timing where his foot is almost going to touch the floor, like right there. Damn it, where's my pause button? Oh, that's too high. Like right there or so, just about there. Aim for that timing. You can also use a sort of count. Like one being the jump one and and it being the time you let him fall one and two see right there got the perfect timing to land the follow-up attack for the medium slash one and two that was too high one and two one and two medium slash so you can also count or look for the the timing in the feet before you start to commit to the extra button His super special move has a deceptively small range. You gotta be. You might as well use it when you're up close and you're punishing something. Because with all uh, ultimate, well, most, if not all, ultimate attacks in this game, whiffing them will put you in a disadvantageous position. And they take forever to come out. So you're gonna wanna use it to punish things that are obviously punishable. 
So the super special move. Uh, was it forward and then back to forward? HK. Very deceptively close range move. So you're gonna want to be right next to them if you hope to land it consistently. Then the the weapon flipping technique. This one has better range. Can do it from the character space away, but not too. Maybe a character and a half space away, but definitely not two spaces away. And now for some practical experience against the CPU. Great button to start off things with the medium attack. Uh oh. Wow, he's throwing three. That's a knockdown going for that wake up. Oh, back roll. Blocked it, so I did not press the button after that. Wow. Wow. Okay. I didn't see the correct height for the follow up. Attack so I did nothing. I didn't cancel, I should have. It's a special move. Oh. Oh, darn it, I missed the cancel again. And the medium attack on the ground. Oh, I was running forward. Run forward, medium slash. Wow. As expected. Well, uh, did not know what to do. Yes, <laughs> the whip. Wow, right under my standing medium slash. No, that was supposed to be Project Tidal. Yeah. 
<laughs> so you can also use the fireballs as a safe pressure from far away. Say you get a knockdown, you can back up and just throw another fireball to get some meaty pressure and still be far away. That'll uh, minimize reversal risk. A computer doesn't really like to uh, do reversals, but uh, online you might find people, you might find reversal happy people. So uh, I mean, uh, one option is to just do a fireball from, you know, back up, do a fireball, get that meaty fireball pressure too. Anyways, this was Haomaru. I hope I was able to impart some knowledge to ye viewer. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.